morning cardinals happy friday to everyone hope and pray you had a blessed evening thank you for another awesome week here at st charles students teachers can't thank you enough and and uh, always give up thanks to god for the gift of you for the gift of this community and for gift, for the gift of all those that support our school so thank you cardinals keep up the great work we have one birthday to celebrate today autumn in second grade celebrates her birthday today happy birthday autumn as you see her throughout the day, please wish her a happy birthday. Thank you to those students as well that received their Sacrament of, of Reconciliation on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, big gratitude to Father for providing that for our community as the sacrament is incredibly important to celebrate. Um, truth be told, there's a lot of people in the world, Cardinals, that do not celebrate the sacrament. But it would, what a unique and, and amazing opportunity we have to be able to put all of our worries, all of our troubles, all of our sin before uh, Jesus and to be forgiven for those things so we can move forward in God's grace. Uh, as Father shared uh, yesterday, uh, being able to move forward and, and not looking back, right? Just move forward in God's grace knowing that, that we're forgiven, knowing that, that God loves us no matter what we'll ever do and that uh, with the sacrament of, of reconciliation, we can always cleanse ourselves to be able to start anew. So praise God for that gift. And praise God for our priest who provide that sacrament to us. If we could all take a moment now to breathe in the Holy Spirit, put on our Christ, and listen to today's word. Today is the feast of St. John Paul II, who was our first Polish Pope. During his papal installation mass in 1978, he proclaimed in his homily, open wide the doors to Christ. He helped to heal and improve our church's relationship with Judaism and Islam. In today's reading, we hear more from St. Paul's missionary journey. St. Paul and his followers found time to kneel and pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul had finished speaking, he knelt down with them all and prayed. When we found a ship bound for Phoenicia, we went on board and set sail. We came inside of Cyprus and leaving it on our left. We sailed to Syria and landed at Tyre because the ship was to unload its cargo there. We looked up the disciples and stayed there for seven days. Through the Spirit, they told Paul not to go on to Jerusalem. When our days there were ended, we left and proceeded on our journey and all of them, with wives and children, escorted us outside the city. There we knelt down on the beach and prayed and said farewell to one another. Then we went on board the ship, and they returned home. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So brothers and sisters, in our reading today, St. Paul is sharing with us how reverent, right? How important it is, one, to kneel before God, and as a sign of reverence and respect, and two, to pray together. And Cardinals, every time we have the opportunity to go to Mass or Adoration, it's pretty common for us to all be in a, a place where we're kneeling together, either in the beginning or at the end. And brothers and sisters, each time that that takes place, I can see truly God looking down, incredibly proud, incredibly grateful for the gift that we've given given him. And so brothers and sisters, I pray that all of us recognize the, the amazing God that we serve, the loving Father that we serve, who provides all this grace, right? And grace is just blessings. And, and how important it is, just as Paul did, that people take time to give thanks to God. And what I've learned in my lifetime along my spiritual journey is the more that I show gratitude, the more time that I spend in thanksgiving for all that God has done, the more I find peace, the more joy I find, the more hope in knowing how God, how good God really is. So I pray, Cardinals, that you and I continue on our journey of faith, recognizing the need to always be grateful. We have so much to be grateful for. But in my journey of faith, too, I found myself praying to God, kind of complaining or just asking for things, always asking for things or always complaining about things. Oh God, if only this. Oh God, if only that. Oh God, if I could only get this thing. Oh God, if I could only have that thing. Only to discover that more often than not, I left my prayers feeling 
empty, right? And I know God heard them, but in those times, Cardinals, where I spend the opening of my prayer saying, hey, thank you, God, for the gift of our students. Thank you, God, for the gift of our teachers. Thank you, God, for the gift of our community, our parents, all those that support our school. Thank you, God, for the gift of my family. And thank you, God, for the gift of my health. Thank you, God, for the gift of so many blessings, my children, my kids, you Cardinals. Thank you for each and every single one of them. I find myself walking away from those prayers, feeling more full of life and rejoicing and so full of hope and trusting and knowing how good, how good God really is because it's not till we start to voice some of these things out loud or in our minds that we come to realize how good we really got it and how blessed we really are and how loved we really are. So I pray Cardinals that we all take time to pray, of course, but in our prayers we take time to thank God for the gift of one another and for all the, all the blessings that God gives us each and every single day. And hopefully you too will experience by doing so uh, a feeling of fulfillment in your prayer life and in your, prayer, uh, in your prayers where you feel fortunate and blessed and loved because ultimately that's how I feel. So thank you Cardinals for the blessing that you are. Thank you for the gift of all that you bring to, to me and to the school and the blessing that you provide us each and every single day through your laughter, through your kindness, through your mercy, through your willingness to be ser to, to serve God and to, to serve one another and to live up to your God-given ability. And for that, I give thanks as well. So thank you, Cardinals, for another blessed week. I hope and pray you have a wonderful day and a blessed weekend. God bless. If you could please take a moment now to stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. God bless America and God bless our world. Hope and pray you have a blessed day. God bless. How was your sleep yesterday? <sighs> Whatever. Hey, but did I miss anything? Well, we have a group project on a country we selected, and you're my partner. What's the country? Don't worry about it. How about I do the slides and you do the presenting? Why do you want to do all the work? I just don't like presenting in front of people. Okay. Isai, I need you at my desk. Okay. Got your papers? What do you mean? Well, when you were sleeping yesterday, there was an actual assignment. Oh, oh well, it was, you know, I was asleep. And yeah, I was... you know what? You get enough. <laughs> Must be a real great start for your straight A's this year, wouldn't you say? What? What do I do be on the mountain for? I don't know, you tell me. Can I do like the funny part? The quick part. Where you, like, I think he's recording where you, like, right now. Mess around in it. What are you gonna do? Like I'm gonna. Oh, remember when Mini someone brand. pops out of there and then someone else pops out of there? Oh, he's recording right now, you know, William.